boys and girls, happy Monday. I am so excited to see you all today. So boys and girls, this week we're gonna be doing things just a little bit differently. All this week, boys and girls, we're only gonna be doing one video a day, and every video we do is going to be a different science experiment. I'm also gonna make sure that your special grown-ups get the directions for each of these science experiments in case you want to do them on your own at home too. So I thought that would be super fun. Now, before we get into today's super cool science experiment, for those of you who've been watching all of our videos, especially our morning meeting ones, you'll remember that we've been watching how the caterpillar got bigger and bigger, spun a chrysalis, and we've been waiting to see what's gonna happen with that chrysalis. We've been waiting to see the butterflies hatch. Now, good news, boys and girls, over the weekend, two of our butterflies came out of their chrysalis. Let's check them out, boys and girls. Let me turn it this way so that you can see. So boys and girls, you're gonna see one butterfly in the corner and you're gonna see one butterfly kind of over there behind that little container. I'm gonna unzip. We have to be careful so that you can see. Do you see the butterflies? Now butterfly, uh, boys and girls, when butterflies first come out of their chrysalis, it takes a while for their wings to be able to dry, so they're not quite ready to fly. But over here you see the chrysalises. These up here are the chrysalises that they came out of. So the other ones haven't hatched yet, but I'm looking down at these two. They're starting to turn see-through. So that's a clue to us that they're starting to get ready to come out. I'm so excited. Right here, is some food for the butterflies. This is just a cotton ball on top. And in that container is a mixture of water and sugar. So when the butterflies get hungry, they'll go over there. And remember, butterflies can't eat like they did when they were caterpillars. They can only drink. So they get their long tongues and they go over there and they're able to sip the sugar water right out of the cotton ball. So boys and girls, once they all hatch out of the chrysalis, which should be any day now, then all together, I'll take these outside and we'll make one of our videos outside so you can see the butterflies get released into the wild. That's so exciting. So for now, boys and girls, we're gonna talk about today's science project. We're gonna be doing a super cool experiment and it's called a magic paper towel experiment. So to do this experiment, boys and girls, I have a little baking sheet um, dish here. All that's in here is some water. Then I have a paper towel. It looks like I drew, actually Kaylee drew this one, a beautiful rainbow on it. It's not very colorful though, is it? This is the magic part. I'm gonna take this paper towel, put it in the water, Whoa, once you put it in the water, you see all the different colors appear. Isn't that magical? That is so cool. So I am gonna show you boys and girls how you can do your own magic paper towel like this. I'm gonna take this one out for now. I'm just gonna put it in this bowl because it's really wet. I did another one too, do you wanna see? So look, I drew a picture of a flower, but here's the magic part. Do you see how my paper towel's folded in half? On the inside of the paper towel, that's where all the colors are hidden. You fold it like this, and then you put it in the water. Whoa, look at all the colors appear. Isn't that beautiful, boys and girls? I'm gonna show you how to make one of your own. So let's see, I'm gonna put that over there and I'm gonna take a paper towel, just like this. I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm just gonna do a really easy one for now. Caroline, pick a shape, an easy shape, a basic, basic shape. A square. A square, okay. So I'm gonna take a Sharpie, a black permanent marker. So you're gonna do this with your special grown up. Now you see I put a placemat down on my table because Sharpie sometimes goes through the paper towel. You wanna make sure your table's all nice and protected. So I'm gonna draw a square. There's my square. Like that, all right? So there's my square. Now to make the magic part, you're gonna open up your paper towel 
And see how you can sort of see some of the lines of the square? You're gonna trace over those lines like this with your Sharpie again. And this is where you can add the colors on the inside. So I think I'm just gonna take, hmm, I'm gonna take, how about this pink one right here? No, this is a, this is a different type of marker. How about I take this one right here? Kind of a purpley color. And I'm just gonna color in like this. So I'm gonna color in the whole square. Color, color, color. Right, then you fold it back over like this. Once you fold it back like this, you can't see all those colors that are hiding underneath it. So then you take your paper towel, put it in the water and ta-da! All the colors come through. The water makes the colors soak through the paper towel so that you can see them and you can make it any colors you want. So boys and girls, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Caroline, do you wanna make one of your own? Yeah. Yeah, Kaylee, what about you? Do you wanna make one too? Yeah, how about a thumbs up to the camera? Oh, Kaylee's gonna make one too. All right, so Caroline and Kaylee are gonna start to make one. While they're making one, I'm gonna have you watch a little tutorial video on how you can make one of these too. So I want you to watch the video. It takes you step by step on how you can make your own magic paper towel. Kaylee's gonna make one, Caroline's gonna make one, and then we'll come back and we'll see how theirs came out. Kaylee, what do you think you're gonna make? Do you have an idea? Um, maybe a animal of oh, some sort. Kaylee's gonna make some sort of animal. Caroline, what do you think you're gonna make? I am going to make a star. You're gonna make a star? Okay, I think I'm gonna make a sun. Ooh, I can't wait. All right, so we're gonna get busy on that. You watch the video and I'll see you in a minute. video on how to make your own paper towel magic experiment we were over here very busy drawing some other cool um, pictures on the paper towels so who wants to go first Caroline you want to go first yeah. all right so why don't you hold it up and tell everyone what, what you drew I drew a shooting star all right so let's see how yours came out Whoa, look at the colors like shooting through the nighttime sky that is super cool I love it all right, we're gonna take Caroline's out for now. Just gonna move it right on over here to this bowl. All right, Kaylee, do you wanna go next? Let's hold it up. What did you draw? A pig. Oh, Kaylee drew a pig. You wanna put it in, Kaylee? <laughs> Look at her little pig with the little blue eyes. That is super cool how that came out. I love it. 
All right, we're gonna take little Miss Pig out. Put her over here. All right, here's mine. I drew a sun. I can't wait to see it. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, look, there's my sun. Look, it even has two eyes and a little smiley face. All right, boys and girls, so this is an easy peasy project you can do at home. It is a project you have to do with your special grown-ups because we have some markers and we don't want to get anything to get damaged. But this is a super easy, fun project that you could do. And if you do it and you ask your special grown-up to take some pictures, you could even send me some of the pictures of some of the cool paper towel magic experiments you do. All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining me. I hope you have fun and I will see you soon. Bye!